Clemens, EHF Euro 2018 Daily Show. Yesterday we linked the number six to Montenegro because they were the ones to win the Euro exactly six years ago. And now we're linking the number to the team that has won most Euros in history. And they are Norway with their seven gold medals. Today we are here in Nancy in the arena because even though the competition is going on here in the city, but we are moving to Nan for the main round. So this is sort of a goodbye from us. And now let's see the matches in groups A and B and let's see which teams got through to the main round. Here are the highlights. Offload from Gulden and that's a lovely goal from Hagman. Serbia beat Denmark, then this game is all about, will become all about whoever wins it will go through. Well, that's nice. That was really well played. Roberts, can she spin free? She has done. Oh, that's a beauty from her. Top corner past. The buzzer goes. And Sweden have won. They've beaten Poland. Sweden are going through. Started for Denmark. Hansen also. And it's been taken up now by Serbia, and there should be an opportunity here to score. And it has been taken brilliantly by Radijevic to Chambre here in France. Gets the ball from Pop Lazic, and is not going to miss from that. Lekic, lovely. What a great pass that was from Lekic. That was such a good pass. Lekic is through, and she's found the top corner, courtesy of a lovely bounce just in front of the keeper. Just going to let it fall to the floor, and rightly so. Proceedings now officially over. Well, she'd managed to get out of the way, Skora Bogachenko. Oh, another good save, Trusova, and another save! In Group B in Nancy, into the line! Oh, is it going to cross? Thirteen seconds to go. It's all academic now. Nicely put away into the corner by Kocetova. And that could well be almost the last action of the game. There it is. Bounces off the player. The buzzer goes. Well, can you believe it? Slovenia have beaten Russia. In fairness, Russia turned the bench, but still a great result. The second scorer in the competition so far with 18 goals. Picked up by Lino. France break and they've got an extra player very briefly as they try and get sorted out. Zadi, yes! Perfect start. Grasse Zadi adds to her seven goals so far in the competition. Under a lot of pressure. Lucerre, though, a good safe pair of hands from Metz. La Crabère! Oh! Absolutely blasted it. Krumholz is saying she got pushed in the air. He wants a sanction as well. Cling hard in defence. Look at this. There's the shove by Ramusovic. Trying to get a bit of pace here, that's more like it. Into the wing, there's lots of space there. Yes, and they're finding solutions now. They're trying to suck the French defence in. No space there, they'll uh, cut, bring the ball back out again. It's all very untidy. Passive play is being called! And a bullet! It's wanting to give her a taste of the atmosphere. Into the line, brilliant play! And the Glosser commits herself, and the ball goes in underneath. Burnovic's first goal, but that's it. Now the final results of groups A and B. Serbia's victory against Denmark leaves three teams level on points at the top of group A. Serbia, Sweden and Denmark all take two points into the main round. Despite the loss to Slovenia, Russia top group B and take four points into the main round. France's win over Montenegro sees them take two points with them. And now, let's see the final matches of the preliminary round in groups C and D. In Montbelliard at 6 p.m., Netherlands is meeting Croatia. 
And at 9, Hungary is going to be with Spain. In Brest, 6 p.m., Germany with the Czech Republic. At 9 p.m., Normandy and Romania close the round. We have the same situation in groups C and D like we had in A and B. So we asked Dr. Henbol to help us again. So let him explain. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my class. I am Dr. Henbol, and I'm here to talk to you about group C and D. Let's start with the easy part. Group C, Netherlands, congratulations. You are through. Croatia, I am terribly sorry, but it's bok bok to you and fala. What about Spain and Hungary, you ask? Well, they will have to decide between themselves who takes two points to the main round. Now, this is the tricky part. Group D. Romania, congratulations. You are in the main round. Norway, clap, clap, clap. You're also in the main round. But, and there's always a but. Czech Republic, get you can also be in the main round. Shh. Silence, please. Listen. And listen carefully. You there? Okay. If Norway draws or wins against Romania, then Czech Republic just needs to win against Germany. If Norway loses, then Czech Republic, you will have to go a big stretch because you need a plus eight victory. That's all for today. Goodbye. Despite being a warrior, a true energy bomb on court, there is a player that is very warm hearted and loving towards her team and towards us as well. It is always lovely seeing her and having the chance to talk to her. She is Jovanka Radicevic, Joka from Montenegro. Hello. Hello. I'm so happy to have you in the show. <laughs> I'm also happy that I see um, you. How is the team? <sighs> team is uh, how you can see. <laughs> we are like uh, one big family. And uh, I'm really happy and I'm really proud that I'm the part of this team. Because uh, here is everything with emotion, with heart. We enjoy together, we laugh a lot. So we really looks like a family. Yes, I can see that you, every single moment you are on the field, you come, you do it from the heart. That's why when you lose, you lose, like you feel it in the heart. It hurts, right? Yes, you are right. Uh, for us, it's always hard when we lose some games, especially because how you said that we play with a lot of emotion every game, every defense, every attack, and then when you lose, then you also need one day more to, to get up again, to be ready, because uh, you cannot stop to think about the game. But of course, like this is sport, this is life. Sometimes you will win, sometimes you will lose, but uh, you never give up. You are one of the most energetic players on court. Even in Vardar you were, now in Bucharesti and in your team, you're always like, come on, come on, let's do this, you can do it. And you're always the one filling the others with energy. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think, from born like that, because yes. uh, when I was a child, I was never, uh, uh, I, I didn't want to lose nothing, any game. <laughs> when I play home with kids, I also don't want to lose. This is how I'm like character. Uh, for me, it's very important that uh, you give everything what you have on the field and then sometimes you will win, sometimes you will lose. But uh, I really want to play with heart and I'm a big emotional player and I live for handball. For Handball is for me everything and uh, this is the place where uh, I feel free and uh, where I enjoy with my girls. Um, you have some, some young players? Yes. How we are they? Uh, we have many young players and uh, I'm really happy because uh, uh, they are really good, you know. And um, on the field you cannot see, for example, Georgina Jauković. Oh, she she's is, amazing. Yes, she is amazing. And uh, last season uh, she was not like this season. 
And I say to her, I make joke with her, what you eat every day? You are so strong. You are, you are player, key player. You know, you, you, you. When you decide to go on the goal, you go. And we have many also other young players. First, they are good, good person. They want to listen. Do you teach them? Do you help them? Yes. Yes, and they are really, really good person. This is most, most important. Uh, they, uh, we respect each other a lot, even if we are old and they are young and they listen us a lot and they want to listen and they want to learn. Uh, we are uh, old, oh, no. let's say old, but I'm experienced. A, I'm, I'm her age, she <laughs> says I'm old. Uh, no, you are experienced. <laughs> okay, we are experienced. I saw your goal with Maida, the one where you ran, she ran, she got the ball from you, then she gave back the ball instead of shooting and you did an amazing job and scored. Did you practice that or how did you, how did you know that she's going to throw back the ball? It's uh, just feeling. When I uh, catch this ball yesterday, I uh, passed. To, I saw her in front of me, and then in this moment when I uh, gave to her pass, she just say on my language, "Jump!" <laughs> and then uh, I I knew that uh, she will give me pass back. But it's small things, you know. We didn't practice this on the on the training, but sometimes you don't need to practice. It's just how you feel uh, each other. And when you were running back, you know, you were like doing this and you were running back together, it was beautiful, but you were so happy, exactly the same happiness on your face when you were running Yes, back. because um, before we came in national team, um, we also tried uh, this from wing uh, in Champions League and uh, we had success, you know. And then uh, when we were on a trip uh, to Montenegro, we say we have to make something new on European Championship to don't be boring with this, you know. <laughs> Um, I really like to play with Maida a lot. For me, Maida is uh, the best left wing in the world. She has everything like a wing. She's a fighter and she's similar like me. And uh, what is important is that always we are together. I'm so happy I could talk to you. Thank you. Okay. You are so lovely. And so are you. <laughs> Good luck with the home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear Yoka, and I wish you and the whole team a lot of luck for the championship. This was the daily show for today, and as I already mentioned, we are not only saying goodbye to the first week of the tournament, but we, I mean the team, is going to Nantes, or we're saying goodbye to Nancy. But this city is still on, because Group C and D are coming here for the main round. We're going to be in the other city, so see you there tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>